era of the engineer. That was something that myself, my manager came up with uh, because we live in this era now of hashtags and all these things that we're trying to make cool. So the whole purpose of that was to focus on engineers and not just music engineers. It started off with music engineers, but it, it, it sort of became this big thing that includes all engineers. And it's trying to make engineering cool. When I first started, it wasn't cool to be a music engineer and it also wasn't a glamorous job. It wasn't something that got you sort of uh, prominence or people knew your name or wasn't that sort of thing. Uh, and also the, the type of communities that I'm from, the things that are cool are what kids go for. So in what essence, kind of community are you from? meaning lesser developed communities, uh, uh, places where basketball or music is looked at as the only thing that can get you out, sports or, or music and not being preached to, but also just making it cool to focus on engineering, to focus on design so that kids understand that someone has to design everything that we use. If you can focus your attention to that and take it away from some of the nonsense that we have on social media, it's a great thing. So everything develops under this hashtag of air of the engineer. And we have this saying where everything has been engineered and we can prove it. Uh, so it's, it's, it's getting kids into design and, and figuring out um, different ways for them to be interested in engineering, be that designing software, designing musical instruments, designing whatever they want to design. You know. How did you get into being an engineer? Or, and, and you um, use these words interchangeably, design and engineering, are they the same thing? Absolutely, yeah, an engineer is designing something. Uh, for me, it, it came from necessity. When I was young, I got into systems. I got into fixing people's bikes or fixing people's VCRs, and that was interesting to me. My so father you were like a the, geek? Yeah, I'm a proud geek, very proud, very cool geek. Um, I, don't think, I don't think the word geek is a negative thing. To me, that's a really positive thing. And I had parents that allowed me to wear that uh, outside to my friends. A lot of geeks want to go outside and not claim geek. And I was the kid that was outside. Yeah, I was hanging out at 10, 11 o'clock at night on the street corner, but I had a book in my hand. And I was very proud of, I'm reading this and I know something that you don't know. Uh, so again, it, it transferred into me doing music and feeling disrespected How when I was in the studio. How did people respond to that? Because you weren't cool at that time, right? No, I was very cool. I've always been cool. <laughs> Uh, but you made it cool. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point, is that I made it cool. 